Really? The Diary of DeAnne Frank? You couldn't come up with a better name for it? That's what it is. My name is DeAnne Frank, and it's my diary. What do you mean? What does the diary have to do with the second test? I don't know, but it's my private property. Nothing is your own private property now. You gave that right up when you entered this room. We didn't choose to enter this Lou, room. Lucy and DeAnne chose to enter it. Well, some of the same people in this group didn't choose to enter here. I was taken involuntarily. Silence! Whether you chose or not, you're in here now. And nothing is private, nothing is your own, and we can use anything and everything to exploit you. So what does the diary have to do with it? Oh, probably nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, I don't have anything worthy of reading in that diary, so... Well, open it up and read us some, Anne. We will be the judge of whether it's worthy of reading or not. No! <laughs> Look! They said this is the second test! Do you want to get out of here or not? But why does it have to be this? You have to face your deepest fears, to Anne. Dude, what did you write in that diary? Wait, are you the real terrorist? I think he is, and I think he wrote about it in that diary, and now he doesn't want the truth to come no, out. No, it's not that. Yeah, guys, give him a break. I've known to Anne for a long time. He definitely isn't a terrorist. Thank you, Lucy. Ooh, to Anne and Lucy sitting in a tree. Okay, uh, yes, says hey, I. What? No, we no. aren't. Oh, yes. I don't know, Deanne. It says right here that you and Lou. Stop it! No. Deanne, this is your test. test. You, you must face, face the others reading, reading your deepest, deepest darkest, darkest secrets, secrets out loud. loud. If, if not, not, you face death. death. Okay. Okay. But before you guys read anything like this, I need to tell you one. No. You don't, don't get, get to, to say, say anything. anything. For the, the next, next two minutes, minutes you cannot, cannot say anything, anything and you must listen. Fine. January 21st, 2020. Today, everything changed. I even went out and bought this diary to commemorate it. This girl came into the coffee shop and let me tell you, she's a real game changer. I'm already bored. Don't interrupt. She ordered a medium almond milk latte. I'll always remember that order. I'll also always remember the way her hair cascaded down her shoulder, the way the sun shone through the window and reflected off the strawberry blonde locks. Wait, are you talking about me? My turn. January 22nd, 2020. Today, she came again. My heart took off in fluttery flight when she walked up to the register and asked once again for that almond milk latte. I asked her if that would be all, and then she smiled the most beautiful smile I've ever seen and said, do you by any chance have any vegan food? Oh my! Of course, she, she's vegan. So pure, so compassionate. I wish I could have said yes, I should have gone vegan when I thought about it, and then maybe I could have her as my own. Oh my god, it is me. Wait. Diane, are you in love with Lucy? Of course she's vegan. So pure, so compassionate. I wish I could have said yes. I would have gone vegan when I thought about it. Then maybe I could have had her as my own. January 23rd, 2020. That's it, I'm in love. Really, after three days, I finally learned her name. Lucy, Lucy, so pure, so perfect and peerless, you, oh you, you are enough. Do I have to read any more of this? I think I might vomit. <laughs> Give back to me, I can do it. <laughs> February 14th, 2020. The world has ended. I don't know if I can go out on any longer. She rejected me. I asked her if she would share a warm, hot beverage after my shift ended. And she said no. I didn't say no, I said I couldn't that day. This is so dramatic. After a rejection like that, I don't know if I can go on. But I must. I will live and love and live and love again. This setback will not bring me down. February 17th, 2020. She came in again. It was almost too much to take seeing her face after a rejection like that. Are you kidding me? And that's time. Congratulations, Dan. You did it. And you finally got all of that off of your chest. 
You just have to deal with it now. I'll be back. Thank <laughs> you.